I don't know if you've noticed, it seems like we get given with one hand and taken away with the other. Mm. <laughs> mm. So even though initially when I wrote like the bid for the research of this area, I never really mentioned anything about glass and was leaning more towards um, like the architecture, because this is a very strange Queen Anne building as well. Mm. Um, and the architect called R.T. Milburns uh, built this and the Sunderland Empire Theatre. Oh, okay. It's a lovely building. Yeah, yeah, and pretty much any building that has that bizarre Queen Anne kind of, I want to say Baroque, but it's not quite Baroque kind mm. of style. Anything like that is by these guys who were like from Sunderland. So that's what I angled the pitch around and thinking like, you know, if you were into ceramics, you could get inspiration the from the yeah. tiles. I know they're insane. The um the the people who manufactured it, Craven and Dunhill, yeah. are still going. Are they? Wow. Uh-huh. I've just followed them on Instagram. How is that for modern spot, technology? I, I do a lot of bird photography on the co- I do a lot of coastal um, photography, hence the reason I'm in uh, Sunderland. But that might be nice to even draw a parallel b- between that because, yeah. of course, this is painted as it was in 1902 yeah. and it yeah. doesn't look like that no, now no. because the sea stacks have collapsed. collapsed. Yeah. Um, and a part of that cave collapsed as well, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, even... even that's like a kind of a way into the area. Do you know what I mean? So like, if you if you couldn't, you know, if you weren't actually from Millfield, as none of us are, <laughs> I'm going to fetch me Nana down at some point though. She's like from this neck of the woods, um, and I'll probably pop over to see the guys in the old people's home, which is literally just across there. Mm. So we'll get our arty farty interests, probably from us, and then and then see what heritage that the other people think about as well. Yeah. Well, Sarah's had the business in here for maybe about six months. Yeah. Well, you see, you're Sarah, is that a member of your family? Because that's the first time I've met her. Yeah, she... that's, my, that's my younger sister. I didn't realise no, that. So, I know, keep, keep it in the family. <laughs> Nepotism. Um, I just thought, it would, like, when she said that she was taking over, like, the food section in here, I was like, oh, I love that building. I've always really wanted to have, like, a proper rate round because, as far as I can remember, this part was never open. Mm. Like... A few, quite a few years ago when I was like working in pubs, I'm pretty sure that the, the snug area and all of this was The wood looks open. original, the fittings and everything look original. Oh, the whole thing is, like yeah. I say, 1902, I think it was finished. Mm-hmm. Um, which the Avatar, um, it looks like an av- the tree from Avatar. <laughs> on, on your hanging, you know? The oh, yeah, area. that's our Sarah. So. That's beautiful, I like that. <laughs> um, Sarah really loves um, Alice in Wonderland, which, again, is another lovely nod yeah. back to this because we've got that Alice in Sunderland uh, graphic novel. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, right. So what, how we started was I nipped about and I took some photographs of different things. Oh, my 